Hello, it's Just Gaming here, and uh, welcome back to the Minecraft PC. And uh, yeah, this video is going to be a little bit more different because you can see that we're on the uh, the menu for kind of like a reason. Uh, so this video was supposed to be um, doing another TNT run video on that server. Apparently, Space Mini Games has decided to not work. Uh, basically, I've loaded into the lobby a couple of times; it's not letting me in. So. Yep, I've decided to scrap it, and I'm going to do that next week, uh, just because I don't want to really bother sitting on that uh, on that loading screen for a long time. I don't know what's going on with the server. I'm actually not sure if it's broken or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to ignore that video, and I'm going to do something different. So yeah, today's going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing off all the PC achievements in this version of Minecraft. Um, because I know that I haven't done a, uh, a video like this on the Xbox One, which I will do in a separate video as well. Uh, I'm not going to really do it for the Better Together version, just because the, the, them two versions are exactly the, the same. So I'm going to be doing uh, one for this version. I know so I'm going to be doing one for the Xbox. Uh, I know so when I do end up starting the Pocket Edition of Minecraft as well, uh, I'll end up doing an achievements video on it on there. Uh, but today, uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to be going through the mod today because basically I have been getting a few achievements on this one, but not as many. And the reason why uh, is because I'm doing a series in the future called the 20 block challenge, uh, which I know that probably all of you do know because I've seen a few uh, a few people do this. Uh, but apparently the way how it works is basically you have 20 blocks and you have to try and get all the achievements in it. So I've not been getting as many on this version. Uh, the reason why is because that I've, I've been saving it for the 20 block challenge, which I'll be doing in the future. So, yeah, that's why I've not been getting many. So, I'll basically show you the ones I've got for, first, and then I'm going to show you all the other ones. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of achievements altogether. There is a lot. So, you can see uh, that I've only got 110, uh, 110 game score, apparently, on my on my screen there. So, so, that's actually my game score. But, yeah, everything else is actually still fine. Okay, so, achievements at the moment, 9 out of 91. So, you can see that I've only got 9 so far, and that is not many, uh, just because I'm going to get the other ones, but uh, yeah, once again, it's got 91 achievements, uh, I think the Xbox has got a little bit more less than that, so uh, this one's got a little bit more, so yeah, so these are the ones I've got so far, so I've got Caltipper, Hot Tupix, Monster Hunter, getting an upgrade, time to strike, time to mine, benchmarking, getting wood, and taking inventory, so basically they're the ones I've, I've got so far, so uh, the ones that basically are, um, you can kind of see faded and, and, and in a different colour, and they're basically the ones that I haven't got yet, so they're the ones that, uh, that I've all got, so what I'm going to do is I'm, is I'm going to go through the mod, and then kind of explain what they all are, so the first one is mold tools, so it says construct uh, one type of each tool, uh, so basically what that means is uh, every single tool that you get in um, in Minecraft, you have to try and uh, you have to try and uh, equip it with crafting. So basically, the way how it works is if you have maybe a wooden pickaxe, um, a stone pick, uh, a stone axe, and a wooden uh, an iron sword. Basically, that'll be the mold tools. That's kind of what it means because like basically you're getting every single different kind of tool. If it's like wood, stone, iron, diamond, gold, something like that, you will get the achievement. Um, it's actually not that difficult to be fair because the way how it works is you have to basically construct every different type of tool which basically means uh, if you're either doing it in uh, colours or you're doing it in maybe if you're doing wood for example if you're doing different kind of wood or something like that and that's kind of probably going uh, to give you the achievement I don't I don't really know it for exactly but it's fine but anyway let's go on and move on to the next one uh, so pork chop cook, uh, cook and eat a pork chop uh, this one is pretty, pretty simple so yep so for example you need to get a cow um, oh, no, for God's sake, Jot's Gaming, not a cow, uh, a pig, I meant to, I meant to say, oh, I completely forgot about that already, how, how, how can I forget about that, I, right, okay, next question is, Jack's Gaming, how long have you, how long have you been playing Minecraft for? Five years, pork chops don't come from bloody cows, pork chops come from bloody pigs, for God's sake, stop, bling, stop speaking your words out again, you must keep saying the wrong words, but um, anyway, yeah, so pigs from pork chops, um, uh, so yeah, basically the way how it works is you just kill a pig, cook it in a furnace, eat it, you get the achievement. So yeah, that's what I will be doing in a, um, in, a, in in that version. So right, moving on, adventure, adventuring time. Discover 17 biomes. This one's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting one. This one because the way how this achievement works is you have to try and explore all the different biomes, which I've done on the console version already, uh, but I haven't done it on this version yet. Uh, so the way how I, uh, 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 how this one works is you need to explore all different biomes because recently in this version they've added a lot more biomes in so there will be a lot more biomes to kind of explore uh, so the biomes you need to do is snow biome, uh, desert biome, jungle biome, 
grass biome. Uh, any more biomes? Is that is that all of them? Ice biome. That's pro. That's all of them, isn't it? I, th I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that's uh, yeah, I think that's them all. So yeah, so basically, if you well, it says seventeen there, so there's probably more than five. Well, there's more than five, isn't there? So you you've got to explore seventeen. And then when you've done that, you've got the achievement. And uh, for me, it was quite easy on the console. So I don't know how I don't know how bad it's going to be on PC, but I'll have to go and find out about that one. Anyway, moving on to the next one. This one's going to be an interesting one. Uh, Rainbow Collection. Uh, gather all 16 colours of wool. And uh, now, this one this one is a little bit different because I've not done this on the console version yet, which I'm going to try and do at some point on one of my offline worlds. But yeah, uh, this one is a little bit different because the way how this one works is you need to gather 16 colours of wool. So you need to gather all the other 16 colours of wool that are in Minecraft in the game. So all the different kind of colours. And then what you've got to do after that is you've got to dye the sheep in them colours and then you've got to go and get them all. And uh, that achievement is going to be quite hard, uh, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I've not done it before. I think I, I, think I believe one of my friends have done it. I think I believe one of my friends has got the achievement, but I've not got it yet. Uh, but apparently that's kind of the uh, the way of actually how it normally work. And if, for example, if you're playing on the better together version as well, uh, it will be exactly the, the same as what you need to do on it on there. But yeah, like I said on PC, it'll be a little bit more better because you're controlling the game a little bit more than what you do on Bedrock. So, um, yep, yeah, so that one will be a little bit more better. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to get it on Xbox and on PC if I do remember the one. Uh, the next one is Passing the Time. Uh, play it for 100 days. And uh, this one is going to be good. Uh, I have done this on the console version. Uh, so basically the way how this one works is you need to pass the time. So you need to play it for 100 days. And uh, I don't really know this one. Um, the reason why I did get this one is because I was playing Minecraft for 100 days. So 100 days is one hour, for example, or maybe just over two hours. And that's kind of a, the way how it works because it's like it's like 100 minutes, isn't it? So what, the way how it works is when you like sleep or something like that, you'll be able to get the achievement saying you passed the time. And because you passed over 100 days, for example, means, um, which is over 100, 100 minutes, uh, basically what that means. Uh, so that's kind of the way how it works. So when you subscribe to 100 minutes, that'll be like just over one hour because like you get 60 minutes and then you get 80, uh, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, that'll just be over uh, just over an hour uh, to get uh, to get to 100 minutes. So hopefully um, by then you'll be able to get the achievement. So uh, yep, yeah. so I've done it before. Hopefully in PC I'll be able to work it out. Uh, now the next one is um, related on PC. So these two are related on PC and not related on, uh, on, the, on, on the console. So it says feed a dolphin. Uh, a fish to, to have it lead you to treasure and now this um this achievement i haven't even done yet so this one requires on the pc and the better together version it's not on the other console versions so i've not done this achievement but um yet uh, but, uh, but basically the way how this one works is you need to uh, get a dolphin uh, to lead you to treasure so basically you know on uh, on the on this version which i've not even done yet apparently they've got uh, they've got shipwreck islands uh, which i don't really know because like i've never done it before i'll, I'll probably do a video on it in the future uh, basically i've actually heard that you get uh, that you get the treasure uh, you get the shipwreck islands under the water uh, basically when you get them by the way uh, the dolphin will lead you to where the treasure mark is going to be because you got proper treasure um as well um and that's, te and that's technically the way how uh, I've actually had that one will work. That's technically the way how that one is, um, is going to work compare, if you compare to Xbox because you don't get uh, ship retros on there. So uh, that's kind of a, uh, the way how that one is going to work when you compare to uh, all the other ones. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a one I will do in the future. Hopefully I will reckon it, reckon it as out. Because like, basically when you feed uh, a fish to a dolphin anyway, it might even be easy because like, basically you need to make sure you, know, you need to get the right fish and then you can basically... Um, required each because another thing i've noticed as well is you can see by the picture it says that i've got to get a bowl um, apparently to uh, like feed the fish so I'm, i know that i'm technically not going to be doing it that way i'm just going to be like feeding it from its mouth i'm not going to be doing it with a bowl so yeah that's kind of the way how that one is going to work so yeah that is a, that is a really good one uh, the next one is by I can't, I can't even i can't even read that word um and it says uh, i'd survive a conduit and now basically i've heard of the conduit before so it's basically like the um it's like water uh, water, uh, water breathing uh, water breathing um yeah it's basically like uh, water breathing so the way how this one works is um i don't even know where you where you get it from i can't remember but uh, basically yeah the way how it works is you need to uh, i think you need to drink something i believe um i, I can't exactly remember um 
And then when you've done that, by the way, you get the uh, yeah, you get the uh, the conduit. And what it does, by the way, is basically creating all your your, your breath bar. Um, is is breath bar even a word? Uh, hot bar. And then you see your your breath on that side. Uh, uh when you when you see that, by the way, um. The, the breath won't go down, so if you've not got the conduit on yet, it will, it, well, it will go down, for example, but, like, basically, if you've got the conduit on, uh, basically, your breathing one, um, uh, won't, won't go down as it is, so that's kind of the way how that one's going to work, because I've, I think I've done it, I think I've done it once, I can't remember what it was, I think it was a couple of weeks ago or something like that, uh, but yeah, I think I did it before, and apparently it did actually work, so, yeah, but, like I said, getting the achievement, it's going to be quite difficult, because I don't know where you get them from, I can't remember, uh, apparently, I think, I, yeah, I did the cheat when I did it in creative mode, by the way, not in survival, but yeah, 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 yeah but basically, in survival mode, it, it, it'll be a little bit more harder, so, um, yeah, so the achievement is probably going to take some time of getting, uh, but hopefully, I'll be able to, to figure it out at some point in the future. Okay, the next one is one pickle, two pickle, sea pickle, four. It's kind of like a little, little bit of a rhyme. Uh, place four, a sea pickles in a group. So, basically, the sea pickles are another thing that are quite hard to get. So you get the sea pickles in the water. So, for example, when you get when you get the kelp from. Uh, so the way how you get the the sea pickles is a little bit more harder when you compare to um, when you get when you get the kelp, which looks like sugar cane. So uh, basically, the way how this one works is you need to try and get uh, four of them. And then what you need to do, by the way, is you need to place them all in a group. And I don't know what the group means. I'm not sure if that means maybe in plant pots or something like that. Maybe we've got to put plant pots around the area. I don't know. Um, I don't know what kind of a groups me. I don't, I don't know what it means. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, when you've got them all in a group, I think it's like groups, groups of four or something like that. And then when you've got that, you'll be able to get the achievement. And that's kind of the way how, how that one normally works. Like, like, I don't, I, like I don't really know it for, for exactly, uh, but that's kind of really the way how that one will uh, will normally work. So yeah, so hopefully that'll be that'll be pretty cool. Oh, the next one's going to be an interesting one. Do a barrel roll. Um, use a tip ride to give yourself a boost. Oh, okay. So I have done barrel rolls before, but I haven't done it in Minecraft. I've done it in um in car games uh, and motorbike games, but I haven't done it in Minecraft. So how's that one possible? Um, so it says you need to use a tip side to give yourself a boost. So basically, when you get the boost, do you need to like flip your character because that's a barrel roll in it? Um. Okay, this that's going to be impossible. I don't know how that one's going to work. I might be struggling with that achievement. I don't know how that one's going to work, but uh, I'll have to find out if I do barrel rolls, because I can do them in, uh, in other games, but not in Minecraft, so Minecraft will be new to me on that one. But yeah, that's going to be a difficult one, so well, let's think about that one. Okay, the next one is power a furnace with a kelp block. So now, yes, you can actually do something else with a furnace now. So you can actually put kelp in a furnace now, which is which is quite good. And you get the um, yeah, you get the dried kelp, I believe, when you put it in a block. So you get the uh, the older dried stuff like that. So yeah, another good thing you can put in the furnace because you can put a few stuff in the in the furnace now. Uh, but apparently, you can now put a kelp block in the furnace, which I don't really know about. I might end up doing that in the future on my on my world or something, but. It's good that I can do it on there, so that's going to be a good one if I can if I can learn that one. Uh, next one, uh, spend a day underwater. Oh, this is going to be interesting. One, so it says sleep with the fishes. <laughs> well, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So this one, I think I think this one will be easy. Uh, technically, only the um, the thing that's going to be a little bit struggle about this one um, is basically when there's um, when there's the tr when there's the um, the thing is under there. Do you know the um, the uh, the mobs that are underwater? Uh, yeah, do you know basically the mobs that that, that spawn in the water? That, that's going to be the the most hardest. But apart from that, if they're not there anyway, I can do a whole achievement for doing it under there anyway. So I bet that one will probably probably will be a very easy one. So like I said, I think about think about that one. Uh, the next one is me gold. Dig up a buried treasure. So pretty pretty simple. Find the treasure, get gold, and then you get the achievement. So that one oh, was pretty easy. That's pretty easy that one. Uh, next one is mine Maria Pol. Apology, I don't know what, uh, pol pol polygram, polologging, I don't know what that says. Uh, collect a fish in a bucket. That's going to be simple. So, the way how this one works is get a water bucket, get a fish, get it in the bucket, got the achievement. So, once again, hopefully that'll be, that'll be an easy achievement I'll be able to get uh, on it on there. Uh, the next one 
is a ho find a shipwreck uh once again another easy one like shipwrecks are going to be quite uh, difficult to find anyway because uh, the way how you need to find uh, shipwrecks is by the uh, the treasure map so when you've got the um yeah when you've got that located map uh yeah you know that located one uh, basically you'll you'll be able to find a shipwreck on there um and uh, basically when you've got that map uh, you'll be able to see where the shipwreck normally is because that's where the treasure is usually buried in, in shipwrecks isn't it? so uh, that's kind of in the way how yeah, I've actually, I've actually how you found shipwrecks, so that's probably going to be an easy one, but I'll probably think about that one. Uh, the next one is Gastaway. Uh, eat nothing but dry kelp for free in, in in game days. Okay, so it looks like in this one then, that you've got to eat dried kelp for three days, it says. Okay, this one's going to be a simple one. So it says Castaway, so this one's a Castaway. So it says that you've got to eat free kelp in three days. Um... That's going to be a bit of an impossible one. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that one out. Uh, I probably will think about that one now. I don't know how that one's going to work. But what we'll to, we'll to find out. Uh, next one is Sail the Seven Seas. Visit all ocean uh, biomes. Um, yeah. Once again, pretty, pretty simple. Um, like I said, there will be a lot more ocean biomes on this version. So that one that one will probably be an easy achievement. Um, it's got 40 as well, which is good. So yeah, that, that'll be another easy one. So thank you for, for that achievement. I will definitely do that for you. Uh, next one is Atlantis. Uh, find an unto, uh, 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 un uh, underwater ruin. Okay, this one's going to be... It's going to be difficult, this one. Because you don't find many of these. So the way how this one is going to work is you need to find an under, uh, underwater ruin. So uh, this one will be a little bit more difficult than what you expect. But uh, basically you just need to find one that goes underwater, I guess. <laughs> that's kind of the way how that one works. So yeah, that's a good one. Uh, next one is Treasure Hunter. Uh, require a map uh, from a cartographic villager. And then enter the uh, the, the uh, Reverville Instructor. Okay, so reveal destructor, yeah. Uh, so, so the way how this one's going to work is when you go to a villager, uh, I think it will trade for one of that map for one of them maps. So that's kind of the way how that one will work, and then basically you'll you'll be able to find the the, the instructor for uh, finding the treasure hunter. So basically, when you get one of the maps, you'll be able to find where the uh, the treasure hunter normally be. So that one's probably going to be another easy one. Uh, the next one is a wizard one that says, uh, name a shulker box with an anvil. Oh, okay. Um, I know you don't do this on uh, on uh, on, uh, on uh, Xbox One, but apparently on, uh, on Bedrock version, you can actually do this now. So it says you can actually put a shulker box with an, uh, with an anvil. Oh, that's going to be quite cool then. So uh, once again, uh, this will be incredible. Um, it's going to be hard doing it in survival mode though, because I have to go, uh, get the books. But if I do end up finding books, I might end up doing that, but... Most trick, trick, trickiest thing is just to find the books, but hopefully that the books are going to be are going to be simple in this one. Uh, so the way how this one's going to work is you need to uh, basically name a shulker box. So you you basically be able to put the shulker box in the anvil, and then basically you get one of them uh, one of them books, and then when you've done that, you put the book right in the middle, and then it, it, and then it says name on the top, and you can name it whatever you want, and then when you've done that, the shulker box will be ready, and then you can go and name name uh, name your, your shulker box. So yep. So once again. And another, another, another simple one. Okay, next one. Uh, cheating death. Uh, use the at the tunnel of undying to cheat death. And uh, now I have used the at the tunnel of undying, but I've not used it with achievements on. So I have used the tunnel of undying uh, 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 on both versions, uh, but I've not used it in a world when I when I have achievements on. I, I've I've never used it. And uh, the way uh, basically the way how you get them from is you get them from the Illingers. And uh, that's kind of the way how you get them if you're not playing on uh, if you're not playing on cheat. So uh, basically I know that Woodland Mansions are quite hard to find in the PC because uh, basically I noticed that I couldn't find one for like on two maps or something like that. So Woodland Mansions are quite hard. Um I think there must be like a setting somewhere to, to turn to turn them on on worlds. I don't know, but yeah, apparently they are quite difficult uh, on Xbox. Uh, it is exactly the same as on PC. They are quite hard to find. But if I was doing it on that one as well, that one will be simple. Because like I said, I'm doing a series on that channel as well called Getting Achievements. So uh, that'll be another one I'll, I'll be getting in the future. So yeah, lot to find out about that one. Okay, next one. Uh, let it go. Uh, using the the frost walking boots, uh, walk on at least one block and frozen water on a deep ocean. So basically, what that means is, I think it's them 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 new ice blocks. They're not them new blue ice blocks. So uh, the way how this one works is uh, is basically you need to craft the the frost walking boots. Where where you need to enchant them. 
And technically, the way how that will work is when you've got the Frosted Walker boots, uh, basically, that'll, that'll work on the on the ice, and then you'll be able to get the achievement. If it doesn't work, um, yeah, don't don't blame it on the game. You've probably just done maybe the crafting wrong or something like that. So uh, that's kind of really the way how that will work. But yeah, once again, in the future, I, would, I will hopefully uh, be able to, uh, to learn that one. Okay, and next one is feeling ill. Uh, defeat the uh, the Vorticulta. And now, basically, if you know what this is, this is actually the Illinger, but it's actually the yellow Illinger. So basically, in the uh, the Woodland Mansions, you get uh, two uh, types of Illingers. Uh, you get the uh, the ones in green, which are the ones that drop emeralds, and you get the um the other ones, which are the Volcacus, and they're the ones that uh, they get your total of undyings from them. So that's kind of the way how that one will normally work. Because I actually thought like they were both Illingers, but I realised that one of them was called the Vorticulta or something like that. So yeah, yeah, but I realised uh, pri uh, I realised by the name of them that was called the Volticulta. So um, yeah, but um, yeah, feeling ill though, it's it's pretty fine. But yeah, it's the ones that drop them at them them sort of undyings. Uh, the next one is so I got that going for me. Uh, lead a, um, a cavern contain at least five llamas. And uh, now you can do this on the Xbox One as well. Um. I don't know how this achievement works because apparently it says that you need to get five llamas lead lead a caravan. I don't know what they mean by caravan. Um, well, I know that I know that in Minecraft you can't build caravans. Um, I, I'm not sure if you can. I don't know, but apparently you can't get modern caravans. So I don't know what that one. I don't know what it means that achievement. But like for example, I could build a caravan, but like my caravan will be will probably like a house for example. Because I'm quite so I'm I'm probably going to be quite so about building caravans if it kind of makes sense to me. But um. Yeah, if it means a proper caravan, I'll have to probably build one, probably <laughs> something like that, but I don't know what it means by that, or maybe it just means you need to get five llamas, I don't know, but I'll probably think about that one, so yeah, probably think about that. Uh, the next one is the Haddle, uh, require uh, or spend 30 emeralds by trading with villagers, so yeah, so this one's pretty simple, so you need to trade uh, as many, many times to a, uh, to a villager as you can and get 30 emeralds. Easy peasy, that one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, the next one is supersonic. Uh, use your elite shirt to fly through uh, a one by one gap while, while moving faster than 40 meters. So, uh, this achievement, this one's a bit difficult because I tried to do this on the Xbox One version as well. Um, apparently, on the Xbox, it didn't work for some reason. I'm not sure um, if I was using cheat mode, I don't know. Um, apparently, I've not got it on the Xbox yet, which will be getting pretty, pretty soon. But yeah, uh, the way how it works is, is when you've got the elite shirt from the end city, you need to make sure that you go really, really really far, so you do a supersonic speed in survival, um, and that's kind of, other, uh, kind of the way how that one normally works, so what I fly move, for example, that's kind of the way how that one will work, so I probably might have to think about that one, but I'll, uh, I'll see about that one. Uh, the next one is great view from up here, uh, intervite up to 50 blocks of attacks of the shulker, so basically what this means is when you attack a uh, shulker 50 times, uh, you'll get the achievement for great view from up here, which means... Uh, when you've uh, killed the other shulkers, you'll be able to get the achievement from there. So, yeah, that's going to be a simple one. Next one's interesting. Um, the end again. Respawn in the Ender Dragon. So, this one is pretty, pretty simple. So, when you've uh, actually defeated the Ender Dragon, you can actually respawn the Ender Dragon. And you can battle it again. And that is... Uh, I, I know it's actually quite difficult, but that's kind of the way how that one normally works. Uh, next one is um, is is beat me up. Uh, teleport over 100 meters from a single throw of an ender pearl. Um, that one's going to be hard. Uh, so it looks like you've got to go over 100 meters from a single throw. That's going to be a difficult one. Hopefully, I will think about that one. And uh, that's probably going to be an, um, uh, that's probably going to be a difficult one though. Uh, next one, uh, kill the ender dragon. Pretty pretty simple. Um, uh, next one, you need a mint. Um, select dragon breath in a, in a glass bottle. So kind of the way how that would normally work is when you uh, defeat when you defeat the ender dragon, all the uh, dragon breath will, will will drop down on you, and that's kind of the way how it works. So uh, yeah, guys, I, um, I think I, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. And what I'm going to do, by the way, is I'm going to put this into a two parter, um, just because that basically there is so many achievements. I, I think there's I think there's actually a lot lot more. Yeah, you can see that the, 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 there's technically a lot more achievements that I haven't gone through at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to go and end this one here. Uh, so, next week, I'm going to do a part two, and, and I'm going to go through them all again. So, I'm going to go through all the rest of the ones that I haven't done, because I didn't want to do them in the whole video. Otherwise, it would have took me up too long to to be able to do them all. So, yep, so next week, I'll go through the rest of them in a, um, in a two-parter, and hopefully you guys really enjoy. So, and hopefully uh, the, the TNT run should work next week on the server, and hopefully that'll really work as well. So yeah, thank you for watching uh, this video of me going through uh, some of the achievements on the on the PC version. Uh, There's kind of a lot of the achievements that I will think of, but hopefully uh, there will be some that I'll be able to think of, and hopefully there'll be some I'll be able to, uh, to do. So, yep, so thank you very much for watching.
edit this video. Um, and I will see you all later. Bye.